What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the A12 devices and A13 devices. And of course, what is the best version to stay on if you want to jailbreak as soon as possible on iOS 13. And of course, we have some news from the AppTap team about the Installer 5, which is a Syria alternative that got updated. So let's start with the A12 and A13 devices. You probably know that just a couple of days ago, iOS 13.3 has been released. Now, this is an important update for those of you who have an A12 device or an A13 device. Now, these devices are the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR and of course the iPhone 11 lineup. Now, this update is only important for those devices because for the rest of the devices, it doesn't really matter. The iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 5S have the check ring jailbreak which is available and it can jailbreak the latest version available all the way down to the iOS 12.3. So yeah, if you have an iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 5S, you can jailbreak right now the iOS 13.3. However, if you have an iPhone XS, XS Max, XR or iPhone 11, there is no jailbreak available for the moment and also iOS 13.3 is the worst version to stay on. Now you probably know that we have Uncover which is currently updated to work on iOS 12.4.1 even though in here it says 12.4 all the way down to the iOS 11 and this one also includes A12 devices when the check range jailbreak never included A12 devices and it will never include A12 devices because the exploit that is based on which is basically the checkmate secure room exploit is not available for the A12 device. So the only alternative for you remains the Uncover if you have a newer device and this one will be updated when we get a TFP0 exploit. But when we will get a TFP0 exploit for those devices? Well, you see, when we get one for those devices, it's probably going to be available for the iPhone 10 and lower as well, but it's not going to be necessary for those. However, the update that has been released by Apple on December 10 is actually very important. As you probably know, there are two kernel vulnerabilities in here, which are the first one CVE 2019-8833 by Ian Beer of Google Project Zero. And this one says in here, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges and it says it's available on iPhone 6s and later which means that your iPhone 10s, 10s Max, 10R and 11 are supported. Since it says an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges, this is basically going to be TFP0 most likely. And coming from Ian Beer of Google Project Zero, I expect nothing less. Now you probably know Ian Beer of Google Project Zero released a lot of kernel exploits in the past with TFP0 that we used in various jailbreaks, including the Yalu and many, many others. In fact, most of the jailbreaks made in the past couple of years were made with exploits coming from Google Project Zero, so definitely powerful in there. And since it's been patched in 13.3 in here, it will probably be released soon. Now the other one is the same thing, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges, which is again very powerful, but this one comes from two different people, so they probably reported it at the same time. Now those two kernel vulnerabilities would definitely be enough if released to update the uncover to work with 13.2.3 and lower but keep in mind 13.2.3 13.2.2 13.2 and so on but not 13.3 if you have an iphone 10s 10s max 10r iphone 11 or 11 pro downgrade right now to iOS 13.2.3 while it's still signed because iOS 13.3.1 beta has already been released today and it's available for the registered developers, which means that iOS 13.3 will soon be the one and only. And if you're running 13.3, you will not be able to jailbreak once one of these exploits gets released. So this is actually very important. The ones in here are very likely usable to update the uncover and get a proper jailbreak on iOS 13 for the A12 and A13 devices. So as I said, your best bet will be to stay on 13.2.3 or lower, which will be supported by these vulnerabilities when they get released. Now, for those of you interested in AppTap's installer, they posted an update today. They said, quote, Installer 5 RC7 is now available for our beta testers on Discord. This release includes language support, speed and stability improvements. And you can see the entire change log in here on their forum if you're interested in it. It says in here other changes, and it does fix a crash and many other things so it's definitely an important update if you are one of the people who are using the beta so yeah installer 5 is basically a cd alternative for those of you who do not know like zebra and so on and it's actually quite good and it's basically pretty nice and with a good historical value for the jailbreak community so yeah if you're interested in the uh, installer 5 check out their new beta in here so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching i hope this video helps as i said avoid ios 13.3 as much as you can if you have an A12 or A13 device. There will be vulnerabilities available that we might be able to use for the uncover to be updated, but not for 13.3, so downgrade right now while it's still possible. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.